friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wellsourced coming at you with a Goodwill Outlet bins haul video. This will be split into two parts. The first part will be clothing items and the second part will be shoes. And I don't think I got any accessories this day. Normally I go to the bins in Nashville on Wednesdays, but on Tuesday, the day after President's Day, I took a friend to the airport and I thought, why would I come back down here twice? If I'm already down here, I might as well go to the bins. Um, I did need to be home at a certain time, so I was on a bit of a time constraint, but I went in and it was a little bit different a day. I thought, felt like there were more rotations that were coming out and there was a shoe rotation. Normally when I go on Wednesdays, the shoes are already out um, and that's that. There are no more during the time that I'm there that come out. So this day I do feel like I got a few more shoes than normal and I picked up about a hundred dollars worth of things where I pay a dollar 49 a pound. I'll put on the screen what my actual receipt was and I found some good things, some good solid things. I was um, sort of rushed as I said but I was being a little bit more picky because I did still have some items to list from my last bins haul and so I didn't want to start getting overwhelmed with having like massive amounts of things to list. So I probably got you know 25 or 30 pounds less than I normally do and I got some lightweight stuff so it probably adds up differently but then with the shoes it adds in there so who knows there was no rhyme or reason let's just get into the haul I'll stop talking I am like sweating today um so the southeast part of the country is having a heat wave it's 75 degrees here in Tennessee on February 23rd and the rest of the country is under like a winter storm watch like Everyone I know in the Pacific Northwest, Inland Northwest is having storms. So um, I'm not gonna complain about their freezing temperatures when it's 75 degrees here, but it is also makes kind of for tornado season if we get any kind of storms and this warm weather, it's just kind of feels a little stormy out. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm not, the best at checking comps at the bins. Sometimes I just go with my gut. Sometimes my gut is not accurate. And sometimes I pick up some gems. Um, there were a few items that were heavier that I did look up just because I didn't want to spend five or six dollars on an item that turned out to be nothing. So the first thing I picked up was this, it's Mavi or Mavi, but it looks like Mavi jeans. It's a pair of men's shorts. They're a green short and they are just like a chino short um i hung these dry so they have a little bit of wrinkling to them but they have it's called the jacob the mavi jacob made in turkey 98 percent cotton with a little bit of stretch and i saw that and i just thought it seemed like something that would be worth more than 15 dollars uh, which is my normal sale price, I suppose, between 15 and 25. So I grabbed these through in my cart, pair of men's chino shorts. And as always, I'll be putting comps along the way on the screen. The Mavi brand is known for jeans, but they retail in the high hundreds or hundreds of dollars. And the resale on these particular shorts, I think was in the 20 to 30 range. But again, I'll put that on the screen. I quickly look up things when I'm going through, um, when I sort everything and launder things when I bring them home from the bins, but I don't always put that to memory. Um, and I was doing tax information yesterday, so I have a lot of information going through my head. All right, this brand I picked up, it's called Demi's or Demi's Swimwear, and it's a size large. I thought it was cute. It, tur it turns out it's maybe like a boutique brand or an Amazon brand. It is a deep plunging ruffle neck one piece bathing suit. It has ample coverage on the bum. It has light padding in the bust area. And then it does tie across the back. So it's cute. I think it will look nice on my mannequin. I could not find that brand for sale um, anywhere in the resale market. So we'll see what how it, how it does. But I'm kind of likely to pick up any bathing suit. This is the brand Jessica Simpson. I don't always pick up this brand. But she makes cute stuff. Um, it is a size large bathing suit. And it is a one piece with this blue, with this tropical botanical print on there. It does have this cut out and tie in the side. 
And then it is this real textured fabric. It's really pretty. Um, I feel like it has pretty good overall coverage, like in the bum area, and that it's it's a nice cute bathing suit. So we'll see how that does. This I picked up, it's Victoria's Secret size small. I assume this is an older suit, um, but it gives me kind of that Y2K look, 90s. This is a very small top. I also found another size small top that I'm just going to lot together. So um, that is that fun top. I think that would be really cute with just a pair of black bikini bottoms. Okay, this is Banana Republic Factory. It's a size extra small. I like picking up rompers. Honestly, I maybe have sold like two or three of them. Um, this is from 2016. So it's not necessarily a new piece. I just thought it was really cute. And it has this kind of tropical print, red, white, and blue. I mean, blue, blue geez, red, white, and black. It has pockets. It's got this faux wrap top, adjustable straps. It's just really cute. Um, and I thought a nice, fun pop, you know, summer. Summer's upon us here pretty soon. Apparently in the South, it's today. Okay. This is Chico's Large Extra Large. This is the only Chico's piece I found. Unheard of. And it wasn't that I found 50 other pieces of Chico's and I was like, oh, no, I don't need those or they're damaged. This was the only piece of Chico's I found, which is just crazy because I usually find a ton of Chico's. <laughs> this is a size large, extra large. It's just an acrylic poncho with this big cowl neck. This is not on season at all, but I will list it. And it's got a bit of a cable knit going through there, textured. And it's just a nice piece uh, for transitional weather. Maybe not into the spring, but I was glad to pick that up. And I do list, as I've said in previous videos, items all year long. Um, I tend to not sell a ton of my bulkier sweaters, but those lighter weight ones do sort of sell all year long. So this is the brand Spanx and it is a size medium. It's the sheer bodysuit with this sort of Swiss dot detail in it, and it has um, a thong back, and it is lined with a panty liner, and you can see on there that I need to take a wet rag to it. It has a bit of, I use powdered Tide because it comes in a cardboard box as opposed to a big plastic liquid jug, and sometimes when I pull out items, um, there will be a little residue left, left on there and, or it gets, you know, on the side of the washing machine. So I need to wipe that off. Though that's cute. The comps are all over the place on that one, as I believe, um, recalling. Oh, okay. this is the brand Majestic Swim. It is a size large. It's just a brown got that ruching on the center there a strappy top and then it goes down into it's like a swim skirt full coverage real ruch down the side and just another bathing suit that I picked up this is the brand charter club it's linen charter club luxury so this is a house brand at Macy's this is just a linen uh, kind of peasant top blouse. It's got some um, embroidery at the neckline here. It has a tie neck, three quarter length sleeves in this navy and cream color. So, you know, just a nice top for upcoming season. This I probably should have fixed before I tried to photograph it. Here we go. No, nope, that can't be right. What is going on here? Is that right? Yes. Okay, this is Swim by Cacique. So Cacique is a Intimates line that is sold at Lane Bryant. This is a size 18. And it is a ribbed swim dress with this fun cutout like bra, sport bra top or bikini top top. And then it has these cutouts here. And then it does have 
a full bikini bottom to it. It's just a nice little extra coverage, but a real cute print. I like that kind of blue, slate blue and white stripe. This is the brand Alexia Admore. It's an extra small. I did look this one up, even though it doesn't weigh a lot, but dresses, uh, I have plenty of to list. And if this wasn't worth anything, I didn't want to bring it home. Um, it is a maroon burgundy knee length dress with this crossover wrap top, short, kind of a tulip flutter sleeve, has a zip back. It's just a real cute sheath sort of fit and flare dress. And this brand actually seems like it had pretty decent comps on it. There were not a ton listed. So it leads me to believe that maybe it's not the most popular brand out there. Okay, this is um, Friends, the television series. And I, I maybe think that this is a older piece, but I couldn't quite tell based on my research. It is a faux suede kind of acid washed jean hat with the Friends logo on the front. And you know, it just went in my cart. This is Vineyard Vines. This is a long sleeve knit lightweight sweater and it's red, white, and blue, which led me to believe it would be a good piece for like picnic, summer, 4th of July, those type of things. Um, it had like one little down here, like where I need to pull through the knit stitch but other than that, it was in nice condition and it's just 100% cotton. So I thought that was a nice piece for summer. This is the brand MG, which is hit or miss for me, depends on the piece. I do think this is a cute top. It's got this knotted front, so it makes it a bit of a crop in the front. It's these vertical stripes in this pink and cream color. And that is a size medium. This is Yellowstone by Paramount, and it's a 1X, just a, a burnout tee that says Dutton Ranch on it. I know there's huge Yellowstone fans out there, not one of them, but my husband is, so um, I did think about grabbing that. This is an older label Talbots. It's a size medium. This is 100% cotton, made in Hong Kong, so I assume this is a vintage Talbots piece, but it is a really cute snowflake fair isle tr christmas winter sort of thing going on here nordic <laughs> um and then it has these hook metal hook clasps in the front to button it down and the red trim on it i just think this is adorable and someone will want that regardless of the fact that it's an older talbots piece i think that appeals to anyone i picked this up um not sure of the brand, but it's 100% cashmere. So if it doesn't work out as a brand or sell or it has a flaw, I can just go in my cashmere lot box that I lot up to do as a fabric lot for somebody who maybe is into crafting. This is a size extra large. It had no tag on it. I did look up the RN and it was a, it said Target brand. So I didn't know Target ever sold cashmere, but apparently they did. This is a really cute, lightweight, three quarter length sleeve cardigan and cashmere. All right, this is Jessica Simpson maternity. So it's a size medium. The only thing maternity I've sold from her brand before it was like a nursing top and it sold quickly. But this is just a boho kind of roomy boxy sheer paisley print blouse with these fun sleeves. It's got a bit of a pleating on there and it just got really dark in here like the sun went behind a clock um anyway I just I've never tried to sell the maternity stuff Jessica Simpson stuff doesn't retail for a ton but I, I do think she makes cute pieces this is the brand THML <clears throat> which I've maybe picked up a couple times I, I it's sold at a department store I believe um this is a sleeveless top in gray with this Heavy embroidery around the neckline pop over. 
it is a size small, but I was undeterred um, based on the fact that I really thought it was a cute piece. It's just 100% cotton. And then it has it along the back there. So happy to pick that up. This is the brand UA, no, AUW. It's a size medium boutique brand. I know nothing about this brand. I just thought it was a cute dress. It's got this micro floral kind of almost calico print on it in this sweetheart neckline. Um, it's got some smocking at the back. And then it's got pockets and it goes into about a midi length. So this does have a bit of that um, 90s Y2K look to it. It also is just maybe a little bit cottage core and a little bit summer. It just kind of fits into every category there is. Okay, this is a Free People tote. And they're just these reusable totes. I guess maybe you get them with purchase or you buy them. I have no idea how it works. But I've picked them up multiple times at the bins. And I usually just keep them if someone buys a Free People item from me. I go ahead and just tuck it in there. I think I got two this day. This is the brand A New Day, which is Target. It's an XXL. It is the cutest, cutest little gingham yellow and white. Oh, it's not gingham. It's striped. Yeah, it's not gingham. Uh, striped yellow top with these ruffle detail around the neck. It's a seersucker material. It's just adorable. It is screaming summer. And I think someone will look really cute in that. Here's another Target brand, which is Wild Fable, size extra large. This is just a little crop top in this ditzy floral, micro floral, calico floral kind of print. Adjustable straps. It's got smocking at the waist and a little bit of ruffle detail. It's just cute. It'll not resale for a ton, but it will look cute on my mannequin or my body form. Oh, here's that other Free People bag. This one has a piece of yarn in it. A little bonus. Anyway, um, just something, you know, a little tuck it in with the purchase. Here's that other bathing suit top. This is a, this is an extra small. Um, I thought it was a small, but extra small bikini top, triangle top, he kind of heavily padded in this rainbow chevron print by Victoria's Secret as well. This is the pink line. So this is, um, you know, pretty tiny. So it'll, it looks like it has a little bit of a snag on the front and that could be from my dry hands. To take a look or closer look at that. This is the brand Foxcroft, um, which is a small, this is the easy care line. So it's like low wrinkle. It's a three quarter length blouse button front shirt in this geometric print, white with black. I haven't had the best luck selling this brand, but it was a nice crisp white and black work shirt, so I went ahead and picked it up. This is one of those pieces that I kind of forgot was in my cart. Um, it's Zara Basic Evening, size small. I don't know what evening you're going to with this on, maybe more of a sheer, semi-sheer. It has this... I don't know. It looks like tire track. <laughs> I think you got run over by a car. Three quarter length sleeves. Um, maybe like, I don't know, reptile print or something. And I will have to do a little more research into that. That was sort of one of those things I just sort of tucked in there and it was small and I forgot about it. Okay. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a nylon rayon rabbit hair wool blend. And it has an embroidered logo here. This is a cream and black scarf. Just adorable. Super soft. And quite frankly, um, someone will want that. Would I might maybe take it on vacation with me next month? Possible. Because where I'm going is going to be a little bit more brisk still in that spring weather. And that's a nice lightweight scarf. Not that I don't own a thousand scarves of my own. This is the brand Toby. It's a small, it's just an acrylic sweater dress in this gray 
green color. I think maybe it's like an OD green. Um, anyway, I just, it's a knit sweater tunic dress. I've only maybe picked up the brand Toby once before, so that could have been a poor pickup, especially in the season, but you know, I can't, I can't do right all the time. <laughs> uh, you win some, you lose some, right? This is Talbot's size two. So that's a smaller size for Talbot's than I normally would pick up. But this looks brand stinking new. It is a midi length faux wrap top, full length sleeve black kind of fit and flare dress, super crisp black. That's a great piece um, for like a minimalist wardrobe, a capsule wardrobe, because you can kind of wear that with anything. Wear it with, you know, a little cardigan over it or heels or boots to kind of dress it up or down. This is the brand All In Motion. It's a size 2X and it's a pair of leggings. Um, it's a 2X long. And this is just a Target brand, I believe. I own some All In Motion stuff too. But it is a pair of full length leggings in a straight leg, almost a boot cut so um i went ahead and grabbed those because they were new with tags this is the brand orvis it's acrylic wool blend size large this is along the lines of that talbot sweater just really cute has these metal detailed buttons uh that nordic fair isle winter sweater appeal to it This was just something I picked up. So rather than have you have to listen to me struggle and butcher this name, it is Italian for rust stain and it's Macchia di Rugine. Macchia di Rugine. Macchia di Rugine. I am not a Italian speaker in any capacity, nor French, nor Spanish, but I can usually butcher that a little bit better. So Macchia di Rugine. It is a boutique brand or a wholesale brand that uh, can be sold at boutique kind of stores. Leave um, cut out on the side so it kind of keeps it in place. I just thought someone would like to wear that for the 4th of July or something like that. This is the brand LNA. It's a size medium made in the U.S. It's a... Kind of high low almost like a muscle tank but sleeveless tank top in this mm, like a cream almost tan color and it's rayon polyester spandex this is a um <clears throat> revolve brand and I, I not that all revolve brands do that well but i just thought this was a nice piece in a good neutral color this is the brand Beach Lunch Lounge, which you always probably see at TJ Maxx. <laughs> it is sold somewhere else, though, and I just don't know where. It's a size medium. It's a sleeveless. Got this ruffle hem at the bottom. Um, keyhole top here, sleeveless top. Just a really cute cotton top with a lot of different fabrics. It's kind of a multi-fabric. Um, it's faux quilting kind of, but multi mixed media sort of look to it. <clears throat> okay, this is the brand Cleo Bella, which I've never heard of. It's a size extra small. When I looked this brand up, some people were listing it as um, anthropology, but I think people just always list things as anthropology. And they may have sold a piece there, you know, in the past. But it is a heavily embroidered neckline V-neck with a smocked waist. It has this tie back, as you can see. Jumpsuit, long jumpsuit, full length. It's not have pockets. It has a wide leg, though. And any, uh, anyway, I bought this on style, but it looks like the comps on some of these items are pretty good. There was another Cleo Bella item there that I thought, well, I should probably check the comps on this, but it was kind of crowded where I was and I didn't want to 
um, grab it and put it in my cart and forget. It wasn't like the most exciting piece. And so I am glad that I did not pick that up, but I do really like that jumpsuit. It's cute. This is the brand Sincerely Jewels, which I think was, she might've been a blogger um, and created her own clothing line. That could be 100% fake, fake, but um, this I always see at TJ Maxx. So it's a size medium. I think maybe at one point this brand did okay. This is a cropped boxy. It's not chenille, but a real soft, stretchy, blue knit kind of sweater top with these stars on it. And I'm a sucker for stars. So I picked that up. This is the brand Knox Rose, which historically does better in larger sizes, like large, extra large and up. However, this is a really nice kind of blanket, cardigan, long line in this pinks, grays, purple. It's just a nice piece. And I feel like this has multi-season wear. You could wear that, um, throw it over some, you know, a tank and some jean shorts this summer, or you could wear it in the spring and fall. All right, this is the North Face to Men's XL. This is just a, um, it's got a little something on there, I know it. Pull over quarter zip or half zip. Just kind of a knit top in this green color. Um, I picked it up to see, just to put it in the camper for my husband and we go camping and it's nice to have clothing in there that is either already damaged or you didn't pay full price for or is already pre-loved. So then in case you get a, like a spark from a fire or you get it torn or get grease on it or something, you're not real upset about it. This is the brand Outdoor Voices. This is a size large short. I'm pretty sure this is the men's short but I need to kind of double check um it kind of has that men's short look to it with a I guess it's a five inch inseam to it pull on maybe short this is the brand figs it's a size medium scrub top in that typical blue color um, there's going to be a style and a color name associated with it. I just need to get it and that will do well. I'm a sucker for Columbia stuff and athletic dresses. This is Omni Wick. So it's kind of like an outdoor hiking adventure dress. It's an extra small and it's gray knee length sleeveless <clears throat> top or sleeveless tank dress. This is just great if you're running around traveling. You can wear it with your, you know, a pair of chacos or um, sandals, and you can dress it up or down depending. Like when my husband and I went to Italy, you're, you know, you need to have your shoulders covered and your knees covered going into churches and some other um, venues, and so it was nice to have like a longer line dress that was moisture wicking because it was warm out some of the time or raining um so that you, we could and then I could wear a scarf over my shoulders and that what covered my knees so those type of dresses can kind of have multi-wear to them or multi-function wear all right this to me is a house dress <laughs> the tag is completely worn away it is a snap pearl snap see how it's got the front pockets on there. I wish it was snapped. It just like a house dress or something you would wear like over your nightgown around the house while you're got your hair up in curlers and vacuuming waiting for your husband to come home from work. I mean, that's what I picture with that. So I may try to do a little keyword search on that. See if I can get something similar to find out maybe the era or what to call that. <laughs> this is Victoria's secret. It's an extra large, it's this rainbow stripe pajama top. It, this is a longer line. I, I couldn't find one that was just like a sleep shirt. I found like pajama sets, 
but I feel like you could just wear this as a sleep shirt. I did not find any pajamas because this is a longer line. So it's just a flannel, a real cute, nice pop of color from Victoria's Secret. Speaking of Victoria's Secret, here's a pair of Victoria's Secret, the boyfriend short. This is a size eight. It's a low rise cut off jean short with some it's kind of destroyed distressed on the front there the front has the victoria's secret button and it's got the angel wings on there victoria's secret used to make clothing i'm 99.9 percent .9 sure they don't make clothing anymore um outside of like sleepwear and bathing suits so these are likely an older piece, but I have picked up some Victoria's Secret clothing in the past and they it's done pretty well. This is Livy Active, size 26, 28. So Livy Active is, Livy is also a brand sold at Lane Bryant. And this is just a legging, uh, looks like a three quarter length legging or seven eighths. Maybe I need to hold it up to myself. And it's in the space dye color. Great piece for someone. So I'm not 100% sure why I picked up this piece. But the Gap 1969 stuff has historically done pretty well for me. Um, it's an extra large. This is a men's shirt with it's just a 100% cotton. And it's from 2000 and. 15 um single pocket shirt indigo stripe so it's in this almost muslin gauzy fabric but it's not and this striped shirt that just is a button front i feel like a girl a woman could wear this uh, even though it's a men's shirt i mean what does it really matter in the end of things what we're wearing as long as we're happy and like an oversized kind of boyfriend style to it This is the brand Airy size medium. It's a cheetah satin jogger. Down here, and it's got a bit of a uh, tuxedo stripe down the front. It's got pockets. It's just a pull on style pant. So I did see those listed and I picked those up. I mean, I just thought who doesn't need a pair of cheetah joggers in their life, right? This is Nike Dry Fit XL. This is a men's quarter zip top. Another thing I grabbed for the camper if my husband wants it, otherwise I'll list it, but the, oh, that won't get a ton. It's a pretty common item. This is a vintage pillowcase and it is the Lady Pepperell no iron standard pillowcase made in the USA. I got it because the other sheets were not there that I could find. And I just thought it was a cute print that somebody may want. I like vintage pillowcases, um, but someone could either make this into something they want it to be in a uh, pillow or they could just have an accent pillow. Things are falling over here. All right, this is the brand YMI. It's the Dream Fit Jean. I got this, it's a size 15 slash 32 jean. This brand is not necessarily a cheap brand. I have one pair listed and I do see it often, but I'm not gonna pay $8 for it at my thrift store. It's a high rise jean with this straight leg, um, destroyed knee on it. And so, you know, a nice pair of jeans. All right, this was a fun find. This is the brand Revolt Clothing. I was initially just gravitated towards the tag. And then I found out it's a pair of bib overalls. So there's that. And so this is... Um, Forever classic, perfect 
style revolt tradition in comfort maybe I, it's hard to read that it's an embroidered uh, label so this is 100% cotton made in Hong Kong it says a size 22 so I don't know what that means exactly people have these listed as a, like a large maybe um, or an extra large oversized bib overall it has straight legs these had pretty decent comps. Some do have red and white stripes on them. Those seem to do oops, a little bit better, but I am never going to pass up a pair of overalls, let alone a vintage pair. All right, this is a, I assume, vintage shirt. It's the brand is Theme, 100% cotton, made in India, size medium. And why don't I button these things? Someday I'll learn. Okay, I'm just not going to. This has a bit of a Western look to it. Also sort of a boho look. Um, it's got heavy embroidery on the collar here. And then it has this gingham plaid. Placket? No, that's not what that's called. Down the button line with heavy embroidery. And then it's scalloped. And it has a black cotton body to it. And then the yoke. I'm using words that are not real, I don't think. Yoke back here um, is also the gingham plaid. And this is just a really cute top that will look a lot better when it's um, steamed and on a body form, I think. Not just me trying to tell you what it's made of with my made up words. All right, this is an older Athleta piece and it does have more wear than I thought initially when I brought it home. It's a small petite from Athleta. It needs some sweater shaving, but it's a flare leg yoga pant <clears throat> with these pockets in the back. So I picked it up, even though it does have a little bit more wear that I think I can just sweater shave. The crotch honestly wasn't as bad. It was just sort of at the waistband. I think um, that maybe the style is sort of coming back. So I thought I would look to see how it was doing and was it worth my time. All right, this is the brand. Pearl Izumi, which is a cycling brand. It's the Elite Series. It's a size large, and it is a full zip cycling jacket. <clears throat> and in this gray and black color, it is soft shell. It's got thumb holes on this inner cuff. It had a little bit of wear to the reflective material on the front pocket, but that doesn't really matter. Um, this is from fall 2009, so it's definitely an older piece. And I assume that it is a men's fit. And oops, it's got it a little dusty. But honestly, it's weird to find cycling things here in Tennessee. Because we are not a friendly cycling state. Like some states have bicycle lanes and dedicated bike trails, crosswalks. Um, this is like, hmm, let's see, I'm trying to think of Tron or no, that's not a good example. Um, death race, something like that, where you are likely to die if you ride your bicycle on the road. And we have a lot of traffic fatalities every year involving pedestrians and cyclists and things. So, I, maybe people are donating their things because they move here and they're like, well, I'm not going to take my life in my hands any longer. And they get rid of all their cycling stuff. <laughs> Who knows? So anyway, um, that, you know, might not garner the whole, a huge return, but it is still something that a cyclist, who cares if it's older, right? All right. This I picked up. It's just a collegiate Purdue sweatshirt, black with this yellow embroidery on the front and it is the brand e5 i think is what it's called um the size is worn off but i presume it is a large okay what are you oh yeah this is a pretty dress it is free people size medium and let me see if I can't sort of tie it. I have not found any information out about this dress yet, 
but it is a has this kind of off I don't know ruffle sleeve this is a bit of a cold shoulder it ties here which creates a bit of a shoulder off the shoulder there it's got some um, gathering what's that like a, a blue song is that what it's called and it goes down into a knee length a little below knee with this contrasting floral trim to it it is lined and <clears throat> it's rayon so anyway I just thought that was a nice cute dress for spring it had a lot of nice play to it and we will see if I can find more information out about that okay I got two coats so this jacket is I'll just show you the tag members only and it's a size 46 regular there's members only on the front pocket it has that knit trim like members only items do it's a black leather and <clears throat> genuine leather um I was trying to see where it was made, but it does not say that. Let's see if I can find. It needs some leather conditioner on it. It's got a quilted lining. Um, well, anyway, let me just stop talking about it and show you. So it's a members only jacket, black leather kind of bomber jacket. I saw this and I just started laughing because like my dad had a members only jacket. I mean, it was the 80s. Like what else were you going to be wearing? This, I mean, is vintage based on the tag. I made in, oh, Korea. Here we go. Phew. And um, I don't know. I just thought it was a cool jacket. The comps on it were sort of all over, but a lot of them were selling in the 50 range on eBay. Uh, sometimes it's easier to find comps on eBay for like different items like this in the vintage realm so i'm just going to use some leather wipes on this clean it up a bit one thing i will say is that when i pick up anything that like this that definitely cannot be washed i give it a sniff test to make sure that the person wasn't like a heavy smoker because there's just you don't want to bring home something that weighs you know two or three pounds that you cannot do anything with because it is heavily coated in cigarette smoke and there, this bin did have some items that were smoky this one was not okay this, I saw this coat and I thought, well, this is cute. Why has no one picked this up? The brand is Sailor, S-A-Y-L-O-R. It's a size medium. Let me tell you the fabric content here. It is a 50% wool and then acrylic poly blend with a poly rayon liner. And in true fashion, not buttoned her up here okay this does have i just need to sweater shave it a little bit but this is a cute stinking jacket so it's this buffalo plaid <laughs> wool jacket with this kind of sweater cowl neck to it it's a longer line it has these knit cuffs to it it just has a little bit of sweater shaving needs to it but it's a um, real cute 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 jacket these, I went on their website, never heard of this brand. Um, and I went on their website when I got home to research it. So this jacket, similar jackets that they have on their current website for this year are in the three to $400 range retail. Um, so resale, this is going to do okay. I can't remember what the comps were. There were not a ton listed. So I'm not sure if it's one of those brands that people don't know a, a lot about or it's not something that is you know well known enough to be looking for it but the right buyer will come along once I get it sweater shaved up and whatnot so will it probably sell until next winter maybe not but that's a really cute jacket and if it was oversized enough that I could fit into it I would probably keep it <laughs> so um anyway that is it that is my haul the first part from the Goodwill outlet bins 
in Nashville. I had it just, it was a random day. I was glad that I decided to pop in and next time I will go through all the shoes I got. I can't remember how many shoes I got, but probably about 20 pairs of some decent shoes that should show a decent return. And so if you are interested in ensuring that you are notified of that upcoming video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit that bell to be notified so that when that video comes out next week, you'll be the first to know. I appreciate you so much for watching. I have so much fun doing these hauls. Now I just need to get all this stuff listed. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.